Uh, just a quick note, when you're using the virtual sonar decipher and uh, all of a sudden, you know, there's no sound, just use your mouse and move it up to this top blue bar and just click it with your left mouse button and then it'll be back on again, okay? And I think I mentioned you can use uh, tape to quiet the strings when you're tapping on things and this is just scotch blue masking tape from uh, Home Depot. And the idea here is just put it down tight over the strings and wrap it around the fingerboard. And then they're nice and quiet for you and you can tap without hearing the interference of the strings. Okay, um, on to another subject. Uh, there's some very specific points on the plates that we want to tap on and uh, that's the only ones we want. So. Uh, if you've done any research on violins, uh, Carlene Hutchins is very famous for studying uh, vibrational modes of plates and so on. And there's something called a mode 5 and a mode 2 shape. And this is the part of the plate that's not vibrating. And so if you had uh, speakers under a plate and you change the frequency, there'll be a certain frequency where there's a quiet area here and then this area is in between is vibrating, but there's a quiet area. And we're only interested in where the mode 5 and the mode 2 intersect. And we can just find it with a piece of chalk on our finger. And what we're listening for as we tap along, you want to hear where the sound goes down, then it goes back up again, and it's at the, the quietest part. So, And for mode 5, the line will be going in an arc. So that's the mode 5 line for this side. Okay, so that's the mode 5 line. And the place we're interested in is going to be on this line. And now the mode 2 has kind of an arc like this. And so we're interested in where it intersects this mode 5 line. So I just... Is this spot? Spot. Okay. So these are the... Those are the spots we're interested in tapping. So when we talk about the uh, frequency of the back plate, we're talking about these two for the upper bout and these two for the lower bouts, and this is where we're going to be tapping. That has a minimum overtones, and so it'll be the, it'll be the clearest to hear, and this is the frequency we're interested in. And on the top plate, it's the same thing. So these are the two tones we're mainly interested in for the top plate. And if you were, uh, if you had the plate off, uh, you know, you could do anything about it, then you'd also do the, this one. So there's, there's the points we're interested in on the top plate. And mainly for analysis, we'd probably be working on these two points to start with. And these might be interested. You'd like these to be the same. You'd like these to be the same. You'd like all four of these to be the same. And based on the research I've done so far, we'd like those four to be the same and also those match. And then these two will be a, a unit lower, and I'll explain what that is later. And for research purposes on w wonderfully sounding instruments, we're only interested to find out what are the frequencies of really excellent instruments. And then we can analyze from that 
record it, and then use that information to adjust current instruments or make new instruments. Okay? So that's our minimum overtone taps that we're interested in for the plate frequencies.